Welcome back to my channel. I did not do an intro today, however, it is a Thursday and this is my last day at work. I'm at the parking lot and I'm preparing to go home. Now I'm going to go pick up my kids and um, we'll take it from there. Hope you guys are good and that you had a great week. Um, I had an awesome week, so now I'm going to just drive home and um, I'll see if I go past Mall of Africa I'll take you with guys because I wanted to buy a couple of stuff but we'll see we'll see we'll see if I'm tired then we'll just have to check later when I get home and um, when I start editing my video so thank you so much you guys love you still there's not much to do when all I can is thinking about you not doing well don't know where you are Cause you're not here It's been way too long If I could lay down beside you I would, I would But nothing really matters That's all I wanna do I hope that you were saving That I will see you soon If I could lay down beside you Just what you do, you do to me Play my emotions like a pair of puppet strings Did it ever occur to you, my heart's more than a toy Please go easy on me, babe Send message after message, forward my call Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel It is... 1946 it's the 17th of march 2020 i just unplanted my hair and i've cut some of my hair you guys you can tell like you can see it's so short i mean i've cut some of it and i'm just left with a few to actually unplant and at the very same time i am busy on my laptop finishing off my work and i decided to just go on to the career portal and look at the latest vacancies so yes guys i am out there looking for a job and i am just hoping that things work out for me i know that we're living in hard times and 
it's just relevant for me right now to actually put myself out there to see if I can get anything better or suitable enough or in line with my current career. I'm currently happy at my current job but not entirely happy. I'm not experiencing a form of uh, depression or stress I normally used to have previously. Things are going very well for me actually and there might be a better opportunity coming up for me in the, in the current company that I'm working for. But I just want to see my opportunities outside as well and just test the waters and see if things could work out for me even better financially. I hope you get what I'm saying. So I've fixed my resume and it looks very good. Actually, I'm very happy and I'm currently busy with my applications and I hope you guys could help and just send a little prayer to the site that could at least assist and push forward things positively for me. But we'll see you guys. We'll see how things go. See, I've cut my hair like... But anyway, it's not a train smash because we're going... It's autumn now and we're going to winter. So I'll have time to regrow it to the length that I want. Not that it will grow much, but it will be at a length that I want. Not that I've got any target when it comes to my hair length. Really, I don't. I go with what I have. And I was just fed up. My plan actually was to go to the salon and ask them to actually assist and unplait my hair. But you know, that feeling of wanting to just unplait your hair and become free again. You know, it's not as if I feel any better after I've unplanted my hair. Actually, I'm sad because I've cut some of my hair, but it's fine. Um, because of the growth, I still feel that... Look how much I've cut my hair, guys. Because of the growth, I just feel it's, it's not giving me that fresh breathe I expected to feel when I unplanted my hair. But nonetheless, I am going to go take a shower. I haven't taken a shower today. Woke up, brushed my teeth, washed my face, and I started work. Since I've been sitting here, and I didn't take Tiamo to school today because I was just lazy to do his lunch. So I thought he must, he can stay behind with me. So yeah, you guys, welcome actually to the returning subscribers and wow 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 you guys the subscribers turn around i am impressed thank you to the 889 subscribers that have subscribed the last time i checked i was running on 24 and each time you guys i'm gonna like do a separate video for this each time i log on to my youtube channel the numbers are increasing. On the list, guys, I really wanted to say thank you to all the viewers, the subscribers, and the new viewers that are watching this channel. Welcome. You are much appreciated and loved, and thank you for tuning into this channel. Let me know as well if maybe I am giving you the right content that is suitable for you or that actually is entertaining for you, and I'll definitely do that, you guys. I am at the moment setting targets for myself, looking at the subscribers turnaround that I've got since I started. I am going to set a target for myself. The first target that I actually set up for myself, which I told my niece, was um, 50. Um, I had 12 when I started this YouTube channel and I went up to 24. And after 24, it was like 50 in a week. So I was like, my goodness what <laughs> it's an achievement guys anything small i celebrate because it's a step further and you need to give yourself a break you know don't be harsh don't be hard on yourself things will work out for you especially if you're taking this industry as an entertainment for you as something that um takes you away from your day-to-day -day work then you, you'll be fine. I don't think that it will stress you a lot to actually obtain a lot of users. 
you're just going with the flow like I'm going with the flow. So thank you so, so much to those that have subscribed. I really appreciate and thank you all. Mwah, I love you so much. Keep on tuning in. Tomorrow, what we're going to do is go to a funeral. My mother-in-law has actually asked me to attend a funeral on her behalf. My mother-in-law is old, you guys. She used to like, she's big on supporting family, friends, cousins, um, neighbors. She's big on just providing that support. And I think marrying into a family that is so lovely, friendly, kind, and appreciate the presence of another person is something I also come from. And I think I also need to inherit much more from them because now I am part of their family. And I feel if you get married into a family, you are starting a new journey and you need to start appreciating and engaging with the way they are running their lives. I'm not saying throw away your lives, I'm just saying adapt, you know. There's a say that says do what the Romans do and that's exactly it. Don't get to a place where you've been introduced by your husband at such a wonderful, um, graceful time where they should be celebrating you always and you want to get there and you change things to work according to how you want. It doesn't work like that, guys. How you want things to work will work in your own household and your husband. But embrace your mother-in-law's wishes, embrace your mother-in-law's um, rules, embrace your mother-in-law's um, procedures, and just follow them. And you know, you'll be happy. You'll always be happy. I've got the sweetest mother-in-law ever. She loves me so much. If I could count the blessings I've received from that woman, you'd swear that she actually literally gave birth to me. You'd swear that she literally actually gave birth to me. And I don't feel like an outsider. I've got a beautiful, wonderful, warm-hearted, kind, friendly sister-in-law that I will forever respect and adore. She is exactly her mother's child. She is her mother. She represents my mother-in-law exactly the way my mother-in-law is to me, to the family, and to the public. They are twins. They've never showed me any, any, any form of abuse. They've never shown me, they've never made me feel out of place when I'm with them. Instead, every time I exclude myself, they'd say, excuse me, Lala, sissy way. You're part of us now, so what do you mean you're excluding yourself from the conversation or whatever decision we're about to make? So, it can only be God, guys. It can only be God. People out there are having the hardest time with, with their in-laws, sister-in-laws, um, mother-in-laws. But to me, I still worship my ancestors and God for actually bringing me closer to the current family that I have. It was not because of me being the wisest or the cleverest person to pick a husband that I would actually be linked so beautifully with his family and not feel out of place. It was not because I'm clever or the luckiest girl or woman out there. It's a blessing. And a blessing that I will forever cherish and respect. Hence, I will always honor my mother's, my mother's in law request like I honor my mother's. So, I'm going deep into this, deeper than I thought. Anyways, it's the heart that's now talking. Back into it with my mind. I'm be, I have been requested to actually attend this funeral by my mother-in-law because now she's old and cannot travel as much as she used to. So each time there's a funeral, the side my mother-in-law resides in Northwest Kontsuelitsuoko, is the rest. That's where I am married and very happy. And that's where my next home, my house will be. And um, I'm here in Soweto, Dobsonville. And um, each time there's a, a wedding, a funeral or an event I need to attend on her behalf, 
your death and if you text me or call me and share the details and send me there to go represent her and home on that the young guys just to get to an event and represent myself and mrs mohorose guys especially not just representing me but representing that woman guys that giant of a woman representing her and her good deeds there is no way guys i go to an event that she sent me to attend and i don't get compliments of how wonderful how graceful how helpful how generous she is so why would you not want to see yourself in such spaces hi guys how when i will carry on that legacy so i just feel so fortunate to hear such good things same with my sister-in-law whenever she asked me to attend something close by of a friend of hers that she can't attend I only hear good things i only hear good things about my sister-in-law actually to put it in a clear way these people each time i meet a person they've spent a couple of years or months together they literally change that person's life and that person will emphasize how much of appreciation they have for my sister-in-law or my mother they change people's lives okay they don't get into a person's life and never make the biggest change of their lives, of their lives. they just set the foundation of the Mokorosi blood into people actually my sister was married moraka's blood into people moraka slash mohorosi blood into people and it is amazing it is wonderful to see it is hmm, graceful to experience so it's 15 32 mm, it's 15 minutes of me constantly driving this intro but i think i'm gonna close it up now i'm gonna continue with my applications you guys and i'm gonna continue with updating i'm done updating my cv updating my emails and then i will chat to you tomorrow i'll go wash my hair i want to do a wig installation tomorrow i hope it goes perfectly fine and beautiful and it blends in with my skin and my makeup so i am going to go dish up dish up because i've been dished up for the fam uh, actually i'll go dish up now for the fam and then come continue with my applications and um, i also want to do my nails so i don't know if i have enough time for that because i really wanted to go to bed early but we'll see you guys we'll see so thank you so much for tuning in subscribers one love the new um viewers please subscribe comment like and share my videos with your friends your family your brother your sister your cousins please share it with them and i'll really love to see you on my next video as we proceed to growing this channel together so thank you so much for joining guys i'll see you tomorrow when we go to a funeral i might also go to the gym i'll see i hope you will come and you guys i'm going to a funeral my curls are so beautifully defined oh my god i'm so happy i'll go meet you guys i'll talk to you later Wait. oh you guys i decided to come to the car the heat the heat anyways welcome back to my channel guys um at a funeral um, to the returning subscribers, thank you so much and welcome. To the new viewers, please stay input and let me know if you enjoyed my vlog and what else that you need me to um, add on to this vlog of ours. I hope you join the family permanently by subscribing. And guys, please always try to interact with me to let me know if you're enjoying my vlog. Um, we're about to proceed to the graveyard cemetery. It's freaking hot guys my makeup is melting but anyways we keep strong eh? 
um, yeah, it's um, the funeral service started at nine uh, till eleven. It's eleven now. The cars are here. We're waiting to. We're waiting for the family to just um, let us on, and then we'll go to the graveyard. So stay put with me, you guys. It's a Saturday. And um, after the funeral, I will just hook up with you and um, catch up, okay? Cool. Now, guys, I've been standing for a while, waiting my feet actually. I'm going to say, 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 I'm very I'm heating up, you guys. Since 9 o'clock, I'm going to say, I'm going to say, my outfit of the day when I get home. For now, I'll just show you what I'm wearing. And I'll show you the outfit of the day. And then we are proceeding to the graveyard. Just trying to elevate my feet. Because since came, so I will show you my outfit of the day when i get home after the funeral right now it's too hectic for me to show you my outfit guys but i am looking very snazzy and so we're just waiting to proceed here's the cars waiting for the family and then we're going to head off to the cemetery so yeah you guys i'm chilled i've elevated my feet I'm chilled in the car and we're just waiting for the family so that we can proceed to the graveyard. I've been standing on these heels, child, for like two hours and I'm exhausted now. So I told my husband that I am just going to go to the car because wow, the heat heals. Yes, sis. But, anyways, we're going to proceed our. I came back from the funeral and I was exhausted and I just woke up now I'm sorry I'm just giving you an update it's eight o'clock now oh, guys funeral can be tiring sometimes you know so I just woke up now and I decided to to quickly go rinse my hair because I had a wake on today so I thought let me just do a touch up um relax and see how that goes and I hope it comes out well just to soften my hair a bit make it much more softer my scalp is dry so I'm trying to hurry up 
and then like wash this off sorry you guys my hand is blocking you guys i'm not choosing a what do you call my tripod and my stand and i'm using my phone this time and not my camera because i quickly wanted to record this and just let you know that i'm busy doing my relax and i'm back came home and immediately we went to bed with my husband because we were so exhausted so after this if you see me with my hair relaxed just do know that i'm an, i'm on a rush and i'm rushing that that electricity does not go because i just want to dry my hair as well so i will chat to you later guys me on zombie magic shower i've actually um i don't want to say relaxed my hair it's like it was like a touch relax that i've done so i've touch relaxed my hair just to make it nice silky and soft and manageable for this week until i decide what i want to do next and um i'm quite happy it's not bad it's manageable like I said, I did cut my hair just a little. And I just don't learn. I, do, I just don't learn, you guys. Look at that. Look at that. So I'm just going to cut it. Like I'm going to go to the salon. I'm going to let them trim the hair. You know, make it, make it, make, make the length equal. That's what I want to say. Make the length equal. Because right now, it's not so if i go relax my hair i'm gonna go relax my hair and then i'm gonna make it equal and i actually think that i am going to plait my hair um not with a hair piece like natural plaits and yeah and see how that will suit me you know because that will be manageable in the morning as well i don't want to do something that's gonna just frustrate me all the time so i'm gonna just do plaits and I'll see. I'll see you guys. I'll make a decision. The moisturizer that I used is this soft and free black castor oil anti dandruff oil moisturizer. I love, love, love this, you guys. <laughs> just wrap my hair with this uh, lay it and but at this point you know make it tight because I'm not a saduk person I just get a headache if I make it tight so I make it comfortable and there we go guys I'm sorted it's done laid and i've washed my hair I was, I was so lazy to do this process but it took me literally like 45 minutes and i'm done and i'm done so we'll see in the morning guys i've just wrapped it up with you and i'm just gonna put this bonnet on 
and we set you guys so i'm done and i'm just gonna wait for it and then tomorrow morning hopefully we are gonna go to church my son really loves going to church the youngest so we're gonna wake up i was going to do my nails as well guys but i'm not gonna do that anymore honestly i want to just <laughs> sit on my couch be comfortable relax and do nothing i want to make the best of this week on monday this whole week i'll be working from home tired it was a hectic day we had to go meet family we had to be reintroduced to other family members that we did not know i just had to be in the moment and represent my mother-in-law in in the most professional and um respectful manner so unfortunately i couldn't just be taking snips and, sh and shots of people and they'll also be wondering i would see we at a funeral why is this person constantly taking um videos i took where i could and respected and and also also i had to respect the family because this is their saddest moment saddest time i'm sure they wouldn't um like seeing that part on my videos because i i i, I did not get permission so it goes um back to the point of respect and honoring the person that has passed on so um i just took snippets of 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 um just a couple of videos where i could just to take you along with me and to keep you in the moment with me but when we got to um the graveyard i did not take any videos any pictures and when we got uh, and when we drove back home that's where we had to um, sit and um, chill with other family members and be introduced and um, introduce ourselves to those that don't know us and I just needed to respect that moment. So we came back at um, 16.30 which is half past four after being with other family members. I'm just going to pour myself some wine you guys after chilling with other family members and um catching up with them so we sit and we decided to leave i think at 3 30 and then from there on we then decided to go buy food and honestly there's a place that i know where we went that sells lekka bandage house Ikota. So we went there and we bought amakota for the family we came back and ate because there was no way i did tell my husband there was no way guys i was going to to cook i was hectically tired and jay going to the graveyards guys and coming back home i'm telling you there's nothing else you want to do we are Kobega, like we are Kobega. So you literally don't want to do anything but just go to bed and sleep. So you guys, um, I also want to tell you about this little baby, guys. I've gotten to a point where I can no longer take heavy alcohol. I'm not a heavy drinker anyways but i used to come back from work and just have a couple of drinks like maybe one two or three and just chill and relax but lately it is child it is grinding me i cannot i cannot keep down anything um cider beer i was never a beer person because uh, I, I i don't drink i'm a random drinker i'm a I, I drink randomly like on events i could have your strawberry decorate with a tint of alcohol and i could just have two of those and i'll be fine you know i could go to event i i am I, not the person that will drink to get drunk lately it's been like your age <laughs> The higher the leather, guys, the critical it gets. So I'm no longer that person. The only thing that keeps me going at this point, I don't even finish this bottle. 
I'm just gonna have this one glass of wine and I'm going to go to bed and that's it that's all I can take going forward and I'm happy for myself I am very much happy for myself and I'm happy actually it, it, it doesn't even bother me actually so yeah you guys I uh, want to show you the Valentine gift that my husband bought me. I haven't finished the goodies in there. So I just had one fudge. I looked at it now, so that's why I want to show you. <sighs> here, you guys. Still here. So, okay. Last night I was watching a movie. And I actually got, I ate this. This is a caramel fudge, traditional creamy fudge. I had that. And I've got, wow. And I got the, I've got these little sweeties that I am going to have. Maybe I'll finish this within six months. I'm telling you guys, I'm not a sweet tooth person. And I have a couple of cookies that I can eat in the morning. I need to snack on these. Let me see. So I've got one, two, three, four, <laughs> five, six of those left. And then I've got these babies these are shortbread fingers and i've got two of these oh this one is interesting oh this one is interesting shortbread fingers with ginger oh nice and i've got these shortbread fingers with ginger and that will be the end of this box by the way let me rather take these out and read throw these throw this away because there's no need to keep this so i'm gonna put these aside put it here. and that will be the end of it that's my valentine's gift that i bought from my husband to you guys and that will be the end of it yeah So guys, this is the end of my Saturday. Thank you so much for watching. Again, do like, comment, and subscribe to my channel.